The National Environment and Planning Agency says German Ship Repair Jamaica Limited's environmental permit has been reinstated. This after a suspension last week for what the agency described as, quote, a non-compliance with seven conditions of the environmental permit granted to them in 2019. Romard Alliance has this primetime news follow-up. German Ship Repair Jamaica Limited's environmental permit has been reinstated. In a release, the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, and the Natural Resources Conservation Authority, NRCA, said the decision follows a meeting with the company's management team on Friday. The agency said they were satisfied the company had been taking the necessary actions to comply with the conditions of the notice of suspension of permits served last week in order to remedy the breaches identified. NEPA says the company submitted documentation to comply with the notice of suspension of permit which is being reviewed. But environmental specialist Peter Espute says there needs to be stronger enforcement for environmental matters. This sort of problem has been going on for decades, probably before you were born. And um, it's not only to do with pollution, anything to do with the environment. Uh, there just doesn't seem to be a strong enforcement. The Clean Currents Coalition, a collaborative network dedicated to combating the flow of waste from rivers into oceans, says various industrial and domestic waste is discharged into the Kingston Harbour. This poses a threat to marine life. The most recent impact, thousands of dead fish washed up along the Harbourhead shoreline in St. Andrew. And years ago, NEPA said an estimated 20 million gallons of untreated or poorly treated sewage is discharged into the harbour each day. Mr. Espute is convinced this is still the reality. The way we operate in Jamaica is not conducive to enforcement of environmental laws. It's just not on. And it's not going to happen the way we operate right now. Romarda Lyons, TVJ News. The principal.